That's right. My husband, Bill Clinton, and I have become great friends. And Bill visits us every summer. And uh, we don't agree politically, but we don't talk politics. And I think you'd have to understand. I read someplace. Before you're critical of someone, you should remember that they did not have the advantages you had as a child. A loving mother and father. Bill's father wasn't around. And I think that he thinks of George a little bit like the father he didn't have. And he's very loving to him. And I really appreciate that. And when they went on that long tsunami trip, George told me Bill insisted he stay in the bed. And Bill insisted that he was taken care of. And that was really nice. I, I love Bill Clinton. Maybe not his politics, but I love Bill Pure, unadulterated script reading bull. A behind the scenes with Barbara Bush, where she really tells you what's going on. Isn't that just so sweet? Meanwhile, I have interviewed known, admitted CIA, not assets, but employees, agents, who were at MENA and saw the Bushes, Clinton, all of them. They would meet there at the airfield where the goodies were coming in, C-130 by C-130. Oh, they're such a nice little family. They're such nice little boys. Bill Clinton was the protege of the CIA section chief in England, and then he was assigned under George Herbert Walker Bush. Look it up. Hillary as well. But it's worse than that. The Rhodes Scholarship, on record set up by Cecil Rhodes, who wrote books on how they were going to establish a world corporate government and fold the British Empire into that by stealth so that no one could stop them from taking over and merging with the United States, which is what the Council on Foreign Relations was set up for in New York City on, at the Pratt House in 1922. And what does Skull and Bones push for? All the exact same program. That's all these people are. It's just like Vladimir Putin. They are fronts for the special interests that run this country. And then, oh, uh, we've got two different political parties. And, and it looks like there's differences on the surface. But when it comes down to brass tacks, it's exactly the same. And there's a quote by Carol Quigley in his book, Tragedy and Hope. The head of Georgetown Political Science, Bill Clinton's other mentor that he thanked uh, in his ex victory speech, by the way. He thanked Carol Quigley and David Rockefeller, and then he broke down crying and said that David Rockefeller was like his father. And there's a lot of evidence that he's the illegitimate son of the then governor of Arkansas, who was a Rockefeller when he was born. And it's admitted that Bill Clinton's mother was a lady of the night. And then he's got this supposed father that looks or acts nothing like him. The point is, Clinton, who's famously filmed meeting with JFK when he was a teenager. Bill Clinton meeting with JFK. Shaking hands with JFK. Being brought to meet with like eight other youth with JFK. He was fast-tracked from the beginning. And of course, we said this back in 1995, 1996, 97. And it sounded crazy. Now it's all admitted. This is how they operate. And now we see John Boehner, Mitch McConnell, and others not letting the public see the spending bill over a trillion dollars.